Hello, my dear children. I hope all of you are staying safe. In this session, we are going to continue chapter 2 polynomial sum number 1 in exercise 2.2. Find the zeros of the following quadratic polynomials and verify the relationship between the zeros and coefficients. Okay, and we are going to do the fifth subdivision. This is the variable in t. So, p of t is equal to this given as t squared minus 15. So, first step we have to find the zeros. So, for that we have to factorize the given polynomial. And if you see the, observe the polynomial, it is something special. What is the specialty? Here, one, only two terms are there. The middle term is missing. Isn't it children? ax squared is there. bx is missing. That means b is 0. Okay. And we have a constant. And that we cannot count to factorize this. We cannot take anything common or because here it is a variable, it is a constant. So, how to factorize this? Now, let us move, identify to the, the, the uh, identify of what form is that. Okay. If you check the identities, we can apply 3 for factorizing quadratic polynomials. What are they? Can you able to recall? Already we have used one identity to factorize the polynomial in question number 2. That is the subdivision 2. What is that? A plus B the whole square. Isn't it? So we can apply A plus B the whole square or A minus B the whole square or A square minus B square. These three identities can be used for factorizing the quadratic polynomials. If the given polynomial satisfies the identities. Okay. So, here it is satisfying the identity a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Now, if you take this, it is a perfect square, but 15 is not a perfect square. How to write it as a uh, perfect square? And in 9th standard, we have studied about the product of the irrational numbers. If you multiply the same irrational number, suppose root 3 is one irrational number into root 3, when you multiply the same irrational number, that is what will be the written. The same way, we can write this 15 as root of 15 into root of 15. That is equal to root of 15 the whole square. Isn't it that? So you can write this as t, t square is t the whole square. 15 is root of 15 the whole square. Now this is of the form what? a square minus b square is equal to what? a plus b into a minus b. So, we are going to apply this identity to factorize the given polynomial. Okay. But when you are doing this sum in the examination, no need to write this identity. Straight away then apply and write the factors. So, p of t is equal to t plus root 15. Why? Because a is t, b is root 15 into t minus root 15. Okay. Now we have factorized the given polynomial as the product of two linear polynomials. Okay. Now we will find the zeros. So zeros. To find the zeros, what should we do? This t plus root 15 equal to 0 or 
टी माइनस टू फिफ्टीन इक्वल टू जीरो टू मेक द पॉलिनोम पी ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो इसमें चिल्ड्रन इफ एधर दिस टर्म शुड बी जीरो दिस फैक्टर शुड बी जीरो और दिस फैक्टर शुड बी जीरो देन ओनली जीरो इन टू अदर विल बिकम जीरो ओके सो नाउ सपोज टी प्लस टू फिफ्टीन इज जीरो वट डू यू हैव वट डू यू गेट टी इज इक्वल टू वेन यू ब्रिंग दिस अदर साइड माइनस रूट फिफ्टीन इफ टी माइनस रूट फिफ्टीन इक्वल टू जीरो टी इज इक्वल टू वॉट वेन यू ब्रिंग दिस माइनस रूट फिफ्टीन हियर इट इज इक्वल टू रूट फिफ्टीन so the zeros are alpha is equal to minus root 15 and beta is equal to root 15 so now we have calculated the zeros so first part of the answer is over isn't it children so if you apply minus root 15 in this t is equal to this term will become zero And zero into anything will become zero. If you apply uh, t is equal to root fifteen, then root fifteen minus root fifteen, this term will become zero. So zero into anything will become zero. So you have calculated the zeros. Now we will move to the second part of the question. Second part is. verification that is we are going to verify the relationship between the zeros and the huh, coefficients so let us write the coefficients so here a it is what one no constant so it is one and b b is not There, so b is equal to zero, and c, c is equal to minus fifteen. Okay, and what is alpha? Zero is what? Alpha is equal to minus root fifteen, and beta is equal to root fifteen. Okay. so first relationship is what we have to find the sum of the zeros that should be equal to minus b by a that is this is the coefficient of x square this is the coefficient of x and this is the constant term here the coefficient of x is zero because it is missing here okay if b is zero only the term will miss okay so first relationship is what sum of zeros is equal to alpha plus beta is equal to what minus root 15 plus root 15 when you add both what do you get zero okay next step you have to find what minus b by a And check whether both are equal. Minus b by b a is what? Minus of x by of x square. That is minus. b by a so b is what zero so minus zero by a is one so zero by one is zero you name this as one and name this as two so from one and two alpha plus beta the sum of the zeros is equal to zero and 
minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square minus b by a is equal to 0. Therefore, these two are equal. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. From 1 and Isn't it children? Now, we will move to the next relationship. That is product of zeros. Product of zeros is what? Minus root 15 is equal to alpha beta that is minus root 15 into root 15 that is equal to when we multiply minus 15 okay it should be equal to what constant term y x square that is c by a so that is equal to what c is written as minus 15 by a is equal to 1 so that is equal to minus 15 name this as 2 name this as 3 so from 3 and 4, c by a, that is constant term by coefficient of x square is equal to what? Alpha beta, that is product of the zeros. So product of the zeros alpha beta is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square. This is from... 3 and 4. You understood children? So you have verified the first relationship and the second ship. Both are verified. Hence, So from this term you have understood, you can factorize the given polynomials by using splitting the middle term or applying the identities. It depends upon the uh, polynomial. Okay, you have to identify whether you can apply the splitting the middle term or the identities, the three identities. Okay, a plus b the whole square, a minus b the whole square or a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Okay, children, I think you might have understood in this session. If you have any doubt, write in the comment box. I will clarify your doubts. Take care of yourself, children. God bless you all. Thank you.